Hello everybody, this is Miss Chester here with another math video. In this video, we're going to talk about using addition to check your subtraction. So, let's look at a problem here. Let's do 92 take away or minus 74. Okay, I'm going to start with a model. I'm going to model 92, so I need nine tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want to do two ones. All right, so that's 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92. Now, I want to subtract or take away 74. I'm going to switch colors here. Now, the first thing that I notice is that I'm going to be taking away 74, which has four ones, but I only have two ones. So, what do I need to do? I need to regroup. So I'm going to take one of these tens away and I'm going to split it apart into ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just a reminder that if you set it up like a tens frame, then it's easier to see easier to keep everything organized so that you can look quickly and see that is 10. All right, so now I have 10, 11, 12 ones. Now, let's look at, do I still have 92? I do, because I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then this 10 would make 90, 91, 92. But now, because I have regrouped my 10 here, now I can take away those four ones that I needed to. So, I'm just going to take away here one, two, three, four. So, I've taken away the four ones, and now I'm going to take away the seven tens. This one doesn't count, remember, because we didn't take it away, we regrouped it. So I'm going to take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to see what I have left, which will be our answer. I have one group of 10 and five, six, seven, eight ones, which would make one 10 and eight ones is 18. Now, Modeling was not our goal of this video. It was to use addition to check our subtraction. So I'm going to quickly erase our model here and we are going to add to check ourselves. So if I add, and remember we've looked a lot at fact families, so I should be able to add 74 plus 18 and get 92. All right, so I'm going to look at my ones place first. I have eight ones and four ones. If I add eight plus four, I get 12, but I can't put a 10 in the ones place. So 12, if I look at it, it has a 10 and two ones. So I'm going to put my two ones here and I'm just going to put this 10 over here with this other 7 that is a 10. And now I'm going to add my 10's place. I have a 7 and a 1, or 7 10's and 1 10, which makes 80. And then the other 10 that I carried over makes 90. So that equals what we started with, 92. Let's take a look at one more problem. Let's erase this one. And let's do 
56 minus 14. All right, I'm going to do this one on the number line. So if I had 56 and I take away 14, all right, I'm going to do 14 as 10 and 4. So I'm going to take a jump back of 10, which would put me at 46. That's minus 10. And then I'm going to take four more jumps back. One, two, three, four. And that would put me at, let's see, 46. That makes 45, 44, 43, 42. So my answer would be 42. And since we subtracted, let's add 42 plus 14 to check ourselves. And we should get what? That's right, we should get 56 if we subtracted correctly. So let's look. I've got my tens here and my ones here. I like to underline them in a different way just so I can keep them straight quickly by looking at them. So I'm gonna add my ones, four ones plus two ones makes, that's right, six. And then I'm gonna add my tens, four tens plus one ten makes five tens. And looky here, see what we have, we have 56. So 56 minus 14 is 42. Then I can check myself by doing 42 plus 14 is 56. And so I know that my answer was correct. All right, good luck. Happy mathing.